All right, so our friend Robin says, as somebody who suffered from insomnia, chronic insomnia, right, the, the condition where you're not able to fall asleep properly, and when you do, it's sort of disjointed and fragmented and basically interrupted. As somebody with chronic insomnia, I'm worried that if I try things like the wake back to bed technique, he's afraid. He says, basically, I'm afraid to try things like the wake back to bed technique because I've had chronic insomnia. Now he doesn't, you don't mention things like sleep paralysis and the sleep paralysis demon or the, whatever you want to call it, the dark figure that hovers above you when you experience sleep paralysis. But I assume that's sort of what you mean. You know, if you're writing to me saying that you're afraid of lucid dreaming because you're an insomniac, you're probably not afraid of lucid dreaming, are you? You know, you're probably afraid of the experiences that lead towards the actual end goal of lucid dreaming, the things like sleep paralysis, which if you're an insomniac, I'm sure you will have a lot of experience with. You know, insomnia is uh, something which lends itself very well to sleep paralysis, unfortunately. So here, here's the thing, right? You've got to go back to the, the basics of what sleep paralysis actually is. Sleep paralysis is something your body and brain do, do to basically make sure that you don't act out your dreams at night. It's basically a process that you go through to paralyze your muscles to enable your body to protect itself. Because if you didn't have sleep paralysis, right, you basically, you would be acting out your dreams, you'd be running around, you would be kicking things, you know, you'd be moving around in such a way that it would be harmful to you. You might kick yourself, you might kick the wall, or you might knock something over or roll over. So sleep paralysis is essential. You know, you need to have sleep paralysis. We all need sleep paralysis. And one of the things I always teach, I literally go through this several times, almost every video, when I talk about sleep paralysis, it's good for you. Protects you from damaging yourself and from damaging the things around you, right? It's not something to be scared of. And I know that sleep paralysis can be scary when you're in the moment, but you've got to understand it's completely natural. You know, everyone experiences this. And if you're holding yourself back from lucid dreaming just because you don't want to have sleep paralysis, you're, you're stopping yourself from experiencing so many beautiful things, so many amazing lucid dreaming experiences and sensations just because you're worried about a bit of sleep paralysis, right? And I get it, it can be scary. I, I do understand that it can be scary to wake up in the middle of that process to feel like you're trapped and you can't move and there's something pressing down on your chest. Okay, this is what sleep paralysis is typically described as. It can be scary. But that is not a reason to not lucid dream, my friend. That is not a reason to give this all up or even to stop trying. I know you you were an insomniac, okay? And that's a terrible thing to be afflicted with. You know, sleep is a very important thing and to not be able to sleep properly, that's one of the worst things that you could be experiencing. I get it and I really do empathize with that. But here's what you need to do. You need to basically put that aside for one second. Remind yourself that sleep paralysis is a natural part of lucid dreaming and of sleeping. And if you just go into it with that mindset, if you just approach it knowing for a fact that nothing can hurt you in the sleep paralysis state, none of it's real, then in that moment you've freed yourself from worrying about it. You don't need to be concerned about sleep paralysis or what it's gonna feel like because if in your head you know that it's not real and you know that it's just a stepping stone towards lucid dreaming, then you're not going to be too worried about it, really. You know, you're going to start approaching it almost with a sense of playful curiosity, like a kid again, because you know that although it might be scary, it is what leads towards lucid dreaming. And it's not really, it can't harm you anyway. The sleep paralysis process, it's not harmful. It doesn't hurt. It's all in your mind. So I hope this makes sense, my friend. And please don't give up on lucid dreaming just because you're an insomniac. I would advise you to continue learning how to lucid dream in spite of that. Done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.